Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Tastemaker, and welcome back to Scenario 3, where we have to sell a whole bunch of steak, is what we gotta do. We just gotta sell so much steak, and I'm honestly here for it. I like steak. I'm a really big fan of steak. I just, I just, oh, just give me steak, quite frankly. Steak with, like, garlic, and that's it. just, just a medium rare, you know, a really good sear on it. Bit of garlic, a little bit of salt and pepper. That's about it. That's all you need. That's all you need. Just nice and simple. Nothing too crazy. You don't want to go too fancy with your steak. Just nice and, you know. Just the kind of, just, yeah, anyway. I'm making myself really hungry right, uh, right now. So, we'll, we'll just leave it at that. You get the idea. Um, Still the same day, by the way. I've been saying in a few of these episodes that this is all being recorded on the same day. This one is no different. I'm still feeling super nasal and just sick and and miserable uh so this is just really fun and it's weird because uh, like i i think i said in part like four that there's every chance i'm gonna finish this game before a single episode goes out i haven't done that with a series in years and i know it's not something everybody's thrilled about i know you know the feedback is super important um and it's it's a thing with you know youtube videos in general that's kind of the whole thing is like you know, comments and stuff like that, but this is the exception. This is not the rule. This is not something I'm going to be doing for every series going forward. I'm just really enjoying this game on a day when I'm feeling a little bit sick. So that's that's all that's going on here. Don't worry about it. It's it's okay. All right, it's okay. And to be totally honest, I think I've got for the most part I've kind of figured out what the game's about. So I think we're okay. I don't think there's any uh, I don't think there's any crisis right here that we uh we need to worry about uh what i would like to do though is i would like to go ahead and start getting a bit more land because i want to go ahead and expand our kitchen back into all of this space back here so that i can give up a little bit of the space to the restaurant itself and so that we can actually start serving more things from the uh from the kitchen i think that's going to be kind of important as well you know, I think the menu right now is not something people are going to be thrilled about. The prices aren't great. The decor is meh. So I think getting really good decor, a really good menu, keeping up the hygiene, and then cranking the prices might actually work out in our favor. I, I think we can I think we can make this work if we do that. So we'll see if that ends up being the case. Hopefully, hopefully I'm right on that one. But if I'm not, well, we'll be fine, is is what we'll be. There's not really too much to worry about. Uh, there's certainly no queue right now, which in itself is a little bit of a concern, but I think, I think we'll manage. Uh, we should probably look into getting ourselves another dishwasher as well. But again, I think, I think we'll manage. Uh, let's just go grab that and let's just do this as well. And just sort of do this the whole way across as well. Which apparently I can't afford. That's fine. But essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue. This little wall that we have here. This little tiny corridor. Is going to be extended straight across. This chunk of kitchen where storage is right now. Is going to become part of the main restaurant. And then all of this back here is going to turn into kitchen space. So the kitchen is going to be bigger than it is right now. It's just going to be sort of a weird kind of T shape is what it's going to be uh so let's go ahead and while we have some money let's just buy this chunk of land and i can't buy that one so that's about as big as the kitchen's going to be and then essentially wall right there wall right here wall across there and that's going to be the kitchen is is what it's going to be and i think that'll be pretty good i think that'll kind of work out we're going to have a couple of weird corridors and things going on with it but I think it'll be fine and it should give us a really nice you know good sized space for the restaurant itself so that we have plenty of people down here eating and eventually we can go ahead and put another floor up there and i think that'll be good as well so we can really just have a lot of people being served here you know really good decoration upstairs i'd really like to get the piano as well because that is something in here it's a thousand dollars for the piano but I feel like it's probably worth it. 
You know, I feel like it's, hey, how how often do you get to go to a restaurant by a barn with a piano in it to eat steak? You know? So that's, that's kind of what we're going for. And also looking at it, the wait times right now are definitely a little bit rough. This guy's waiting on fries and has been for a while, and we only have the one fryer, so... I think let's, um, let's spend a little bit of money here. Let's go ahead and get ourselves this other wall. And hopefully sooner than later we can get that back wall as well. In fact, I think what's going to be best is just building part of it. And just, you know, gradually building it in sections, essentially. Is, is what I think is going to be for the best. So, let's see. If, uh, let's do that bit. And then this last little bit should be easy enough. And then we just need 30... We need $12 to build that last section. And I couldn't do it because we just ran out of money. Okay. Well, I see how it is. I'll tell you what we can do, though. Is bulldoze these walls because that will give me some money back. We can do this. No, I can't because I don't have the money. Uh, never mind. They're going to be working in a relatively open plan kitchen right now. That's fine. That's that's not a big deal. I'm sure they don't mind at all. You know, we just need uh get a nice breeze, you know. We've got a nice breeze coming in. It's really airing out the kitchen, so any smoke or anything like that's not going to linger. I'm sure they I'm sure they don't mind. I'm sure it's fine. Uh just need again $12. That's all I'm looking for right now. So if you could finish your steak and someone else could finish their fries, that would be fantastic. Any second now. Come on. Someone finish something. There we go. All right. So that is now just a beautiful room. Let's go ahead and move these stoves over against this wall. Because we are going to be trying to make so much steak, it's going to be ridiculous. Uh, let's do this as well. Let's move these counters to here. Because what I'm going to try and do is just have this really... I want to try and have a really good flow of things, essentially. So storage can go there, is, is what it can do. And I'm probably going to double up storage again, to be totally honest. Um, but storage can go there for now. Uh, in fact, that can go there. The dishwashers can go over on this side, and we can just stack a bunch of them into that corner. And then essentially what I also want to do is I want to go and I want to demolish all of this, right? So all of that goes away. This wall goes across here. And then we go ahead and we do a staff door there. And I think we maybe do a little archway. No, you know what? That's, that's fine as is, is what it is. So let's go ahead and just demolish that and put that wall back in there. And that seems fine. So that that kind of works out, is what it does. Uh, we do... We're, we're probably going to see things slow down a little bit, given the fact that uh, everything's a little bit more spaced out right now, but that's fine. I'm not really too worried about that. I also think we should probably get rid of the window that we have right there, but we'll not worry too much about that either. It's not a big deal. Um, and I would also like to... So we have the two stoves, right? I want to go ahead and I want to get another cabinet and I want to put it there and I want to get another cutting board because we are going to need more staff as well. We're going to need a lot of things, but we're going to have five stoves along there. We're going to have uh, four fryers and I'm going to try and get into ovens and dough mixers as well. I think that would probably be pretty cool and probably more fridges too, but you know, everything in, in due time. So there's another fryer. That should speed things up a little bit. Uh, the fridges are full. That's a bit of an issue, but we'll manage, I'm sure. Uh, this could probably be moved, is what it could be. Uh, so let's go ahead and just move this into... I don't know. Let's just put it there for now. So that, you know, cleaning is by the doors and all that good stuff. And this is a good amount of space. This is honestly just a really good amount of space to work with. That's going to be a good-sized kitchen back there, which makes me very, very happy. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what we can do with this. And I'm looking forward to getting all these tables in here, too, and eventually upgrading them, because that's going to be so good for the decor, is what that is going to be. Uh, now, let's have a little look at our stats. So waiting time has has gotten worse. Waiting time has gone down a little bit. 
Um, steak isn't quite selling as much as I'd like it to. Which is not exactly ideal. Uh, we definitely want to see it selling more than it currently is. So we might... Hmm. We might want to do something about that. We, we definitely might want to do something about that. And looking at the size of this place, we probably want to get more cleaning in here too, but... For the time being, um... Let's go for... Hmm. What do we want to go for here? I guess we maybe just save up. Or we start looking into, into uh, decor to try and make this place a little bit nicer. Because I do think increased decor is going to be kind of, you know, part of what makes this place that little bit more popular. You know, I think if the decor kind of makes up for the lack of um, fair pricing, essentially, you know, if we make it an absolutely beautiful place, I think that'll help us out. I really do. So we'll see if we can manage to do that. If we can get a little bit more money, we can go ahead and throw up some curtains again, which we can't because we just had to pay our wages, which is fine. I'll tell you what we'll do then. Let's go ahead and get another employee. And let's look at his priorities. Because what we've done is we kind of have this X pattern going on. So this guy is actually going to be another uh, server. And he is not going to do cleaning. Or he's going to have low priority on cleaning. So that'll hopefully help the food get out there a little bit quicker and that'll hopefully result in a bit of money coming in a little bit quicker as well and then obviously we kind of need to do the same with bathrooms i think bathrooms are kind of going to be a big thing especially given how many people we're going to be able to have in here i'm definitely thinking that bathrooms are going to be something that we're uh, gonna want to be looking into but again you know all in due time and uh, thinking about it, actually, I might, I might get rid of this bathroom. That might not be a terrible idea. Because what we could do is just save a little bit of money by doing something like this. And just doing a wall there. And I'm kind of okay with that. Three bathrooms there, three bathrooms there, a bit of an extended kitchen. That seems like a pretty good, pretty good deal. So, let's see. What else can we do right now? So, we... We could look into bread, we could look into pizza, we could do nuggets, but I mean, steak really is the big deal, right? Steak is kind of the, uh, it's, it's kind of the, the, the selling point of the whole restaurant. So, I mean, do we want to go too crazy selling everything else? That doesn't seem like a, that doesn't seem like a good idea, to be totally honest. It seems like the best thing to do would be more, you know, be take everything else off the menu and only serve steak. But I feel like people are going to appreciate having more to eat than just steak. So I don't know. I, I really, I'm not, I'm not sure what to do here. We could do wine. We absolutely could do wine. Um, I think what we do is I think we just go ahead and throw another stove in here. And I think we just, we just keep, you know, we, we commit, you know, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to commit to steak, which is a fair commitment to make, I have to say. I'm, again, I'm quite a fan of steak myself. Uh, so we'll do that again, and we'll just get another stove there. So we can start serving up four steaks at any one time, which should speed things up a little bit for us again, which is kind of what we're looking for. And should increase profits, which it absolutely looks like it is doing. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab another stove. So we'll just have a line of five stoves back there. And then we just need to do fridges. And we're probably going to want more stoves at some point. But this should be fine, is my, uh, is my thinking. In fact, let's see. Let's take a risk here. Let's grab three more employees. Right? So let's go one and two and uh, three. And let me just, so we have this X thing going on. So you are going to be prioritized there. You're going to be prioritized there and you're prioritized there, right? You're not doing that. You're not doing that. And you're not doing that. So now we have eight of these guys. We are a little bit lower on plates. Uh, we have hopefully got enough pans. I'm not really sure. 
We'll grab a few more plates. We'll grab a couple more pans. We'll grab a couple more, well, another glass, I guess. And we'll see how that goes. So now we should have a couple of guys kind of committed to just cooking for the most part. And then we have a couple of guys committed to cleaning as well. Now, one of them can't actually clean right now because we only have the one broom. So we're going to need to get another one of those. But, oh, I've just noticed as well, serving. So if we don't put... If, oh, I've just realized something we can do, and I think it's going to be really good, is we can put a bunch of counters in here, and that's where people are going to take things to be taken out and served. That's actually kind of exciting. We can have dedicated servers. So that's, and by that, I mean, I mean, we already had dedicated servers, but what I mean is, <laughs> I just realized as well, dedicated servers. Uh, it's a gaming but, you know, server internet joke. Uh, anyway, the point being, if we put some cabinets in here without anything on them, then they become, uh, like, where food is put when it's ready. So that's kind of neat. That's that's actually something we're really going to want to uh, to do, I think. So let's see. We also only have the one dishwasher right now, which is not exactly ideal. Um, hmm... Okay, I'll tell you what. How are we looking here? Decor is still not great. Menu variety is not great. Let's try and just keep pushing the decor up a little bit. Because I think if we slowly manage to do that, we can get ourselves in a spot where, yes, our prices are not ideal, but, you know, we can hopefully deal with that. Um, so, let me go ahead and do this so give me a cabinet ca cabinet or cabinet i don't know what way i'm pronouncing it these days but we'll do that right and my thinking is that when food's ready is it going to be put on those to be taken out no it's just being sort of it's just being carted out there that's so these are potentially useless which is fair enough i guess uh but there is there is plenty of food going out so that's nice um, let me just sell these, I guess, since they're not really needed. Right now, anyway. I don't think they're needed. I do think more dishwashers could be a bit of an idea, because that one's kind of full right now. And I do think more tables. Just more tables and more decor is kind of the entire thing right now. Uh, in terms of reviews, menu is kind of the big complaint as well, so maybe just... Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's, let's do some stuff here. Let's do some nuggets. Let's do some nuggets and let's do some wine. Okay. I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to order in a bit of chicken. We're not, oh, we are overboard on the, uh, the fridges right now. We kind of need another one. Uh, so let's save up a little bit. But we're going to do nuggets and we're going to do wine. We're not going to do whole chickens, but we'll definitely do nuggets and we'll definitely do wine. So we have the money. We had the money. Never mind. Uh, if we could get a little bit more money. There we go. So we can go ahead. We can get another fridge. We're going to put it there. We're going to have a look at this. We'll bring in a bit of chicken. Bring in a bit of wine. Bring in a little bit more meat. Bring in a little bit more on the potato side. And that'll be fine. So now what we can do is add these to the menu. And we can add wine to the menu at some point as well. I do really want to do bread. I really want to see the process for doing that, but uh, it's going to take a minute. But now that we have that, that does give us a little bit of menu variety, which is good. People seem to like that, so that's going to work out for us. Uh, the prices are not ideal, but that's also okay, because here's what we can do. Uh, we can go ahead and we can throw up some curtains. We can make the place look nice, or we can throw another table in here, which is what I would much rather do, just to... Uh, you know, keep people coming in here and get even more customers and more capacity and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get someone else to get... Oh, no, no one else is going to give us money right now. We just lost a bunch. Um, I am noticing a lot of people just sat around waiting for chicken nuggets right now. <laughs> that's, um... That's interesting. I guess a lot of people are really excited for the chicken nuggets, huh? Yeah, you guys and you guys, everybody. <laughs> Wait, what? Hold on, have we just, like, stopped selling steak right now? We absolutely have. Oh, boy. 
Okay. Um, I'll tell you what might not be a bad idea is increasing the price of those a little bit and just, well, we'll bring the price of the steak up. We'll keep the price of the steak about 22. Right, so we'll make the chicken nuggets more expensive than the steak in the hopes that that's going to um, work out for us. We're about to see a lot of people leave, though. Because as it turns out, number one, we don't have enough chicken. And number two, uh, people are... They really want their chicken. They really, they really wanted that chicken right there. Good lord. We might actually be about to have a pretty negative month here. This could be pretty bad for us. We do need a, a delivery of of goods in here, is, is what we really need. But at least the place is still relatively clean. We have that going for us. So how are we looking? The waiting time just got terrible. Menu variety is okay. The prices are not great. Oh boy. Hopefully we can pull this back a little bit. We did just get a nice delivery. Good amount of chicken. So we should be able to now serve a good amount of chicken. Although we do only have the two fryers. So that might also happen to take a minute. I'll tell you what we can do. Is we can throw some wine onto the menu. We can make that $15. And I don't know how many glass. We only have three wine glasses. So we might want a couple of those. We can go up to five wine glasses in total. I guess that's fine. And uh, we are now losing money. <laughs> we lost money last month. That's, that's pretty rough. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, hopefully we can turn this around a little bit. Uh, menu variety is now perfect. So that's good. The waiting time is fine again. Uh, decor could be better, but this this is this is more in line with what we want. So we should now see profits kind of rising a little bit. We should start making money is what we should start doing. In theory, we'll see how things look at the end of November. Because we're also spending a lot of money on uh, deliveries. So ingredients is 279 right now. Staff wages might also be a little bit high. But I mean... Right now, steak is, it's not selling. It's really, it's really not selling all that much, which is kind of a worry. Because the whole point of this challenge is to sell steak. So we might, hmm. I wonder if the way this is kind of looked at is like, I don't know. Because, so, so, like fries, bread, pizza, like, are these... Is steak like a really good middle of the road thing and then the nuggets kind of take away from it? Because that's kind of what I'm feeling right now. Is the chicken nuggets are maybe taking away from the steak and people are much preferring those over the steak? That's, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting right now. Also, the good news is we have a queue again. So now that we have that going, let's go ahead and just crank these prices up. So I'm going to say like $28 for nuggets and $25 for steak. Because I think we could do that. The prices are going to be terrible, but the variety's there. The hygiene's there. The waiting time's okay. The bladder stuff is all right. Decor is going to get better with time. So I think we'll be okay. Uh, reviews wise, I mean, we're getting some four, we're getting plenty of four stars. So I think we'll just wait and see what happens with the price increases. Because I think they're going to hate them, but it's going to pull us out of a pretty rough situation for the restaurant. So I think it's pretty important. And uh, I mean, in terms of hygiene, we're doing okay. In terms of decor, we're all right, I guess. So I think, I think we'll get there, you know? It, it definitely looks to me like we're starting to see the, the money climb again, which is beautiful. And we're seeing plenty of people still coming in here. Not necessarily as many as we've had, but still a decent number. So no complaints from me there. I think we're seeing like one or two people walk past occasionally, but that's okay. We're actually seeing a queue again. Okay. That's fine. So... We got a profit of 210 last month. That's kind of exactly what we're looking for, is a solid profit of 210. 
So if we can turn that into an actual profit that we can start spending, we can start putting more tables in here. We can hopefully start to just sell more steak. And then hopefully more good things will happen. I don't really want to increase the prices beyond where they are right now. I will say that. I, I definitely don't want to go too crazy with that. But we'll see. Still got a queue forming. That's fine. I'm kind of debating whether or not we do more tables down here. Or if we just do more, like another bar section across there. I'm a little bit torn on that. I'm not too sure what to do. But I guess we'll find out. Uh, in terms of money, though, I do want to get my hands on another chair. Just so we can bring a little bit more in here. So, you know, if we could, uh, you know, get that right there. That's going to give us room for one more person, which is, that's fine. That's, that's totally okay. And I really am starting to think that I, uh, do we, do we maybe go for... Do we maybe go for the cheap, the old tables and the old chairs? I, I know I keep toying with that idea. And now that I think about it, you know, the more I, the more I think about it, I realize the issue is that that's going to bring the decor stat way down. And I think that's just going to make things much, much worse for us. So I definitely think we don't want to be doing that. So I think, I think that's what we're going to, going to try and avoid. Uh, so let's see, Paul. Let me have a look at you right now. So what is Paul's priority? Okay. Can I maybe say, hmm. Let me test something here. Let me say that William here is going to do nothing but cook, right? I want him to do absolutely nothing but cooking. Because that way we might be able to just see... I honestly don't, I don't even know if it's really going to do anything for us, but I just want to see what happens if we just set them to cook only. I'm curious, you know, I'm, that's, that's all. I'm just curious to see what happens. Uh, now we have a little bit of money here, so let's go ahead and get more tables. I was thinking we'd do two more down here and then we can basically copy this pattern over here and we can sort of do the same over here actually as well. Uh, so if I did that and then did a chair there. That'll kind of work out. And then I can essentially do the same over on the other side as well. So that's going to do nothing but increase our capacity, which is totally fine by me. Absolutely no complaints on that front. Uh, so then a table here. Yeah, I think we can do that. I think we absolutely can do that. Okay, this is, this is going to be kind of exciting, actually. We're going to be able to stack tables really nicely into that space. And I don't think, I don't think anybody should get stuck. In theory. That's, that's a pretty big in theory, but in theory, nobody should get stuck. Regardless, I think we can probably go ahead and put a bit of a cut in right about there. So thanks for watching, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.